Please put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Kathy Gassiorowitz. I was so incredibly nervous, I thought that I would pass out from hyperventilating. I'd never taken anyone to court before, it hadn't even occurred to me, and now I was in the Ramsey County Courthouse suing a client for stiffing me 600 bucks on a mime gig. <laughs> I think the reason I was so uncomfortable is that all of this, this confronting someone was completely out of character for me. As a mime, my, my mime persona was um, sweet and vulnerable, innocent, totally non-threatening. I mean, just start with the outfit, the, the striped shirt with the boat neck collar and the little beret and the white face with the, the black grease paint that made me look like I was always on the verge of tears. You know, completely harmless. And I would, I would always just stick to the predictable illusions, the, the mime wall and getting trapped in a box, not angry about it, just a little <laughs> forlorn. And I would climb a ladder and a little bit fear of heights, but nothing too concerning. And what was painful about this is that no matter how sweet and adorable I tried to be, I seem to elicit from people this um, really uh, abusive <laughs> response. <laughs> like, it, maybe you wouldn't be surprised, but people could be so mean. Not, not all people, fourth graders like me a lot, but adults, <laughs> it was like, and a lot of it was, it was rude. There'd be sort of crude gestures that might be construed as mime, I don't know, but, um, but I, I took it, I took it really personally, and I also felt like it was, um, it, it was a shortcoming in me, like if I, if I just worked harder, if I just tried, and so in fact, the more abusive they got, the more I would try to endear them to me, and charm them, and engage them, and um, I know now that there is a 12-step program for that, but, <laughs> But back then, I just felt like that was my job. And even though it, um, it made it not very fun a lot of times to do mime, I figured, well, at the end of the day, I mean, literally, at the end of that day, I would get paid until I wasn't, which is why I was now in small claims court. So after sweating it out for about an hour on those benches where they make you wait, uh, they called my case number and gave, the judge gave me a couple of minutes to state my claim and then he had the, my former client, the defendant, if he wanted to speak, which he did. And then the judge looked at him and said, sir, these people, he was pointing at me, but I think he meant like all mines, I don't know. <laughs> these people, all they have is their time and their talent, and you, sir, abuse that. So you need to pay her the full amount plus the cost of the filing fee. Case dismissed. So, you know, we left the courtroom and I, I did get paid. And I, I kept doing mime gigs after that, um, but something shifted. It wasn't like a conscious decision on my part, but, um, I stopped doing illusions. I stopped trying to do the mime wall or pull a rope or, or, or pick a daisy. I actually started smoking. Not, not like real cigarettes, but like mime cigarettes. And I would just smoke. A lot. And then after that cigarette, I would like get my head stuck on a wall for I don't know, 10 minutes. And I would just work really hard to extricate it and I'd smoke another cigarette. And then I would like find a spot and I would just get completely mesmerized by it. And it was really fun. <laughs> what made it actually even better was um, the abuse completely 
vanished. Like there were, there were no more crude, rude remarks or sexual comments. Um, and people seem to be watching me, like at a safe distance, which I respect. But, but they seem to be paying attention. But what was really amazing was that I didn't care. Like I, I really didn't care whether they liked what I was doing or they didn't like what I was doing. I kind of figured as long as I'm having a good time and as long as I'm getting paid at the end of the day, I can keep doing this. Give it up for Kathy!